Okay, welcome to the Devil's Matrix. I have went out and purchased this $20 app that has the little boy toucher <laughs> on it, which I only realized a few days ago. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, obviously, uh, it's a good app, but, um, you know, I can only assume, but, uh, you know, Pizzagate and all that shit, which, uh, yeah, that was a thing, and that still is a thing, and it's in the FBI database that this fucking triangle, uh, means that, so, I can only assume that it's a sigil directly related to, uh, demonic entities. So we're going to go ahead and contact them since they're directly connected to me. Uh, I just want you guys to know that I hear this shit without the spirit apps. What I'm doing is not communicating with the dead. Okay, what I'm doing is not uh, talking to my father. Especially with this sigil right here, this symbol. What I'm doing is allowing direct communication via electronics which is a great demonic portal for all of you that have smartphones which <laughs> fucking 99 percent of humanity has no idea about it's called the dark slash black mirror that you stare at every day that you fucking look at every day you're allowing demonic forces because there is a reflection within the Black mirror, you're scrying. Okay, I don't, I don't want to get into the fucking harsh details, but uh, a little other hint. What are you doing when you spell words? You're casting spells. You're writing sigils. Okay? And not to say it's bad, but what I'm saying is it has been force-fed to you to do it their way. Their way. The demonic Luciferian way. Because you have been bred, built, and maintained as a fucking force of Lucifer. And the best way to do it is to corrupt you. And then I will get into a tangent here about corruption. And it starts with you growing up sitting in front of the goddamn scrying mirror, being programmed via television on what you should think. So what do you think now? I'm sure whoever's watching this is probably over the age of 20, probably 30. I guarantee you most are probably over 40 because these people have come to the understanding whether you'd be targeted or not, I'm hoping that the ones younger, uh, and God bless your, and rest your soul, that you are targeted, has seen the bigger picture because you've been forced to. You know why? Do you want to know why? Because there's something about you. This is the truth. The utmost, absolute, positive truth I could ever say when I'm alive, here and now. You have something they do not like in this world. You have something that has been given to you they don't want in this world. And stop thinking the fucking bullshit uh first layer garbage that oh it's an experiment oh they just picked random targets based off who they are and how they think and what they do you don't understand the fucking matrix reality we live in you have you you especially those who may have watched this because i'm going to put targeted individuals in the first fucking two words and somebody come here and say 
oh, well, they hit me with directed energy weapons, and they, you know, they steal my shoes, and they take my shit, and they put my family members against me, and every time I walk down the street, some homeless bum saying something that I, I did earlier. They're not people. And I cannot possibly comprehend that you you still think to this day, I'm sure some people have been targeted for two years, eight years, 15 years. Some have been targeted for 20 years and still believe this shit to this day that this is happening only because there's a secret fucking operation, the secret program that's happening to you via some fucking group of faggots sitting in front of a computer uh, via quantum computer, which I'll get into, that are sitting there fucking talking to you or making people say shit every day, 24-7. You really think a human being is going to fucking do that? Wake the fuck up, man. Wake up. This isn't human nature. Humans don't do this. A human, via think about putting yourself in their shoes. First of all, if you think it's a human, of course you wouldn't do that. But just step in their shoes. Okay, first you got to think, what a low life. What a fucking, oh, what a piece of shit. He must not have any life. He must just, he must just got fresh out of jail, living 20 years. Of course he's going to do this. Of course he's going to sit there for 20 years and say this shit 24-7 because he gets paid. You don't understand the severity of your situation, man. And this is for everyone. Every single targeted individual out there, you are missing the fucking picture. It's been stated in every fucking religion you are you and i'm sorry for having to cuss i am just i am blown away at the mass proportion of people that are being fooled by this shit thinking that it's a cia dea whatever it not drug <laughs> station cia operation i can't believe it I cannot possibly understand. And maybe if you're fresh, you're a little baby, you're a little baby in the program, you're, you know, program as you call it. It's, oh no, you know, I'm having my family members target me. I'm this and that. I get it. I've been dealing with this for 10 fucking years. I have the strength and the knowledge gained. And guess what? I haven't killed myself. So you only move forward and you push past that fucking picture the oz the wizard of oz think about it think about what they want you to think think about what they try to make you fucking comprehend and perceive as your reality now think about who is they behind the curtain who is it it's not a fucking human I'm pausing for you to fucking think about it. They make these movies. They make these programs. They make everything to put it in front of your face. Wake up to your reality. You are a spirit. You are consciousness. And you perceive whatever you allow yourself to perceive and if you allow yourself to perceive what they tell you to perceive you have become that perception now you are living their life by them you were birthed they took you from birth they wrote you on a document and they own you from birth from there, you will do what they say. You will go to public school. If you're rich enough, still private school. And it still will be the same bullshit fed into your head because it's external. 
It is external information, not internal. Because this world has been flipped inside out. Everything you see, everything you touch, taste, and smell has been controlled since the day you were fucking born. And it's time to wake up. It's time to see the truth. And I'm going to say it. We are in a matrix. The matrix of demonic control. Whoever thinks aliens, whoever thinks what the fuck you want to think, it is evil. We are living in a box of evil. And for those who have been targeted, for those who have been hurt and suffer, there is a purpose behind it. Listen to me. You have something. You have something deep within you. Maybe an extra uh, sensory perception that you may not know of. Something that you were supposed to develop within. Maybe those before who weren't targeted were digging into shit they didn't want you to fucking look at. And they knew you were on track. It doesn't matter because most of you, and I'm going to say the goddamn truth, most of you have been targeted since birth. You want to know why? Because it's spiritual warfare. The evil that, that manipulates and controls this world knows when God incarnates angels upon earth to set his system awry. Satan, or should I say the real name, <clears throat> Lucifer, God, I wish he would leave, but it's not his time yet. This is his peak. This is his manifestation, which will only get worse before it subsides. And I'm telling you all, who is targeted? You have a purpose. Look upon the surface and say, oh, well, this is a test for 5G. This is a test for full control of humanity. That may be the case. That may just be the case. Sure, if, if you want to fucking look at base layer of reality and the perception that they fucking molded into your fucking mind for control, sure, yeah, dude, that's it. You know, you're just a human. You don't know why you're a human. You don't know why the fuck you're here. You don't know what you're doing. You just wake up every day and fucking do what you're told. You go to job, you go work, you go make money, you pay your bills. You know why? Because that's what they fucking trained you to do. You are a pawn. Satan has trained you to be a nobody. Satan has trained you to be distracted after you fucking work your ass off and he collects your energy to come home and be distracted and not know who you are or what you are. You are a warrior. We're warriors here. We have purpose. We need hope. And that hope is through me right now. All of you, wake up. Wake the fuck up to the truth. You are here for a reason. Satan, or should I... am I'm not going to call him Satan anymore. Lucifer is his name. Lucifer is that which they worship. Lucifer is which that they've gained power and control and dominion over you. That is the God of this world. That is the God that has corrupted humanity. And, and our Lord, source, our creator has given him that power. Do you know why? Do you really want to know why? Because through his ways, there will be no salvation. There will be no further path to take except destruction. And we, we, targets, have been sent here 
by source, by God, and I will tell you who we have been sent here through. We are angels. And before you fucking get off this, listen to me. Azrael, the angel of death, the angel that Satan has trained us to know as the angel of death. Well, I'll tell you who Azrael is. In the book of Enoch, Azrael trained humans to fight these evil, wicked, disgusting beings. And they chained him and they threw him away and they kept him prisoner. You are a warrior spirit. You are here for a purpose. There is a energy radi radiating off of you that you know nothing about. And I want you to listen to this. You need to come closer to spirit. And the best way I can say so, and even, even if you don't believe me and you say I'm full of shit, I tell you what, close your eyes, put your hands together, and pray. First of all, I want you to know that Azrael is the right hand of God. He is the commander-in-chief of all angelic armies. Azrael is no demon. Azrael is nothing of what you've experienced in this fucking matter matrix. Azrael has purpose. You have purpose because you're here through him, through source. And you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for source. You're doing it for God. You may know Jesus. You may sit there or, or, or kneel or beg for forgiveness or beg for mercy or beg for help. But they laugh at you, man. They torture you. You know why? Because you're weak. Because you kneel down and are already showing them you have no strength. Oh, Jesus will take care of it. Jesus will handle my problems. Oh, oh, God help me. I'm in pain. Jesus, Lord, save me. Jesus even wanted you to be a warrior. Jesus even wanted you to stand the fuck up and stand up for yourself. Stand up for who you are and have a fucking will. You need to be strong, man. You need to fucking get up and fight. Because this is not something where you wake up in the morning and you start hearing shit and you start feeling shit and you just want to lay there and go, whoa, 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 it's me, whoa. Grow up. And I say that with a loving heart, because I'm telling you, you have it within you. You would have not been targeted. You would have not been targeted if you didn't have a purpose. There is reason within this madness. Because you know why? Everything in this world has a purpose. You are purpose. Your reality for which you stand, whether you sit, whether you lay, whether you're at work, whatever you're doing staring at this fucking scrying mirror, listening to me, you have purpose. And your purpose is far more powerful than you could ever possibly comprehend. Ever comprehend. So again, I state, it's time to wake up. I can't tell you the full truth. I tell you in which I know, and I tell you in which I've been given visions for. I have been targeted over 10 years, and I've woken up to the truth. The rest is up to you because it's within you, not because I hide it from you. It's within you. 
And there's your fucking hint. Stop looking outside for answers. People will not have answers. You already have them. They've always been with you. If you would shut your fucking eyes and ears for a second. And I know you're tor- you're going through torment. I get it. But you, you, you are already a warrior. You have come here incarnate to be a warrior. This is who you are. And I'm only the messenger slash warrior. Because I deal with it too, but I've already awoken. It's time for you to awaken. Come into yourself. Literally. Stop looking outside for answers. You're not going to find, you're going to find, you know what you're going to find? You're going to find Satan's illusion. You're going to find the deception. You're going to find someone with their own fucking opinion who found it outside of themselves as well. Everything, everything you see online, mostly everything, is found outside. And when I say outside, I mean within the box of control, within the box of deception and confusion. And what do they do? They mimic it, mock it, recreate it, and send it within you for you to be deceived. You've always been deceived. Always. Everything you do, looking through those eyes, is Satan's way to deceive you. And I will say it especially for the men right now. Pornography not only deceives you, it confuses you, and it pushes you forward deep down down lower than what you could uh, you could ever possibly be and then you got to crawl your fucking way out of the filth just to get back to level these are satan's lucifer's lucifer's tool i hate fucking saying that piece of shit's name these are his tools these are his tools he That motherfucker knows everything about the mind and the soul which operates through it. That's why this world is in such fucking chaos. Yet slash control. People are ignorant. People are blind. People are stupid. People are sheep. People love the news. People love to be indoctrinated and fucking programmed because that's the way he wants it. Get out of it. Just like it says. And I will say, a little bit of truth. Just a teeny bit that you could read from that Bible should show you that it's not coming from without the world, but from within your world, within your temple of God. Jesus taught you to look within. He already showed you what's going to happen. I'm only explaining what time we're fucking in right now. Just wake the fuck up, guys. Please. <laughs> I, please, what, what can I say or do anymore than fucking just tell you what I know? The rest is up to you. Because we in ourselves are an army. Not to say we all need to get together and go a hoorah and fucking pick up pitchforks and shit. We're an army against Satan. Against Lucifer. And it's time for you all to wake up. I'm going to leave this on right now. I'm going to leave this on right now. Just to show you. How they communicate. 
I do this for you. Do not ever fuck with this stuff if you're weak, if you have fear, um, if you're not ready yet. But especially if you get goosebumps here in this stuff, I mean, you, you need a lot of interior work. I'll leave this on for a couple minutes. First of all, I'm going to say, state your name. You want me to do what with myself? How do you want me to do that? State your name, demonic being. So this is what we have to deal with. Um, this is direct communication with whether you want to think it a quantum computer, an AI matrix, it doesn't matter. This is darkness. This is what presses against your heart and perverts your mind. These are the ones that go within your head within your subconscious, mind you. State things that you never thought you would think and begin to bring them into the conscious reality. These are those who are working in direct contact with Lucifer. They're here. It's real. It's happening. And I just want you all to wake up. And you don't have to believe anything I say may not be true. But I say it for source. I say it for the divine essence of all, because this is who we're fighting for. Not for ourselves, but for humanity, for, th for this existence. Because it's been hijacked. It's been taken over. And it's about to fucking end. But you have been given a chance to fight. All of you who are targeted, wake up. Look within. Start meditating. Start breathing. Deep breaths. Hold for 13 seconds. Let go. Release. And ask. Azrael. Specifically, Azrael. The Archangel Azrael. That is the warrior angel, the right hand of God. Because if you can't get through Source, he will speak to you. Especially to those who are suffering. Especially to those who are targeted. He's here to help you. He helped me. And he gave me and, and led me this knowledge to speak on to you. And I already know the blessings of Source and Azrael. 13, 13, 13. We'll send this message across the interwebs to those who are in need, to those who are suffering and don't know what to do. Because it is His word 
and sources will that thou shall be done. Just awaken, guys. I love you all. I love you more than than any of this, any of this dream that we're living. I love you. Uh, I can't explain it. Unconditional. Source does. Why can't I? You know, it, it's it's just the way it is. I love all of you uh, with a heart much bigger than my own. I'll end it with that. Have a good day. Remember, pray to Azrael.